How's it? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this objectives and key results goal tracker. So here you have your four pillars of life and inside of each pillar, you can have multiple goals or objectives. And then inside of each objective, you can have your key results, which is how you're actually going to track your progress. So here we got our three key results and the total progress of the key results will show inside of the objective, which is this one. And then the total progress of all of your objectives will then show inside of one of these four pillars. And you can also open up one of them to see the objectives and you can click on it in order to see the key results. And if you want to grab this template for yourself, then just check the link in the description as well as the LifeWise dashboard, which already contains this goal tracker, as well as a bunch of other templates and features. And if you want access to a free Notion course and community, then feel free to join the Notion Wizards through the link in the description. All right, so we're going to start off with a blank page. So in your sidebar, just click on plus to create a new page. And then here we're going to change this page to full width and then we're just going to press enter and then the first database let's just create a table view database let me just move myself out of the way and then this one is going to be for the pillars so i'm just going to add in pillars click on the database block menu click on the rename and then here i'm going to add an icon so i'm just going to use this icon and then i'm also going to hide the database title i'm going to create a call out box this one is going to be called pillars and then i'm just going to make this bold underline it and change the text color as well as add in an icon for this call out box then i'm going to delete this tag property and i'm going to add in my four pillars so wealth health relationships and also spirituality now for this database we're going to have three properties but because we haven't created the other ones yet we can't relate them now for now we're only going to add one property which is going to be a number property and this is going to be your rating out of 10. So rating out of 10. This is going to be a progress bar. And then inside the progress bar, we're going to add 10. And then here, I'm just going to change this to red. And then the idea of this is you add in a rating for each. So like, okay, my wealth is on level 7 out of 10. My health is level 5. Relationships level 9. Spirituality level 8. And then you can see, okay, I need to focus more on health or wealth or whatever it is. So this is just an easy way to just see where you're at. Just write yourself out of 10 in all four areas of life. And if your wealth is level three and the other ones are high, then obviously you would need to change your focus and your goals to make more money. So that's kind of the idea. You can quickly just get an idea of where you're at with all four pillars of life. And then for these database entries, I'm going to open them. I'm going to add a cover and then I'm going to upload my own custom cover that I've just created with Canva. All right, so I've added my covers for all of these. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the database menu, go to layout, click on gallery to change this to gallery view and then change the card preview to page cover. And then I'm also going to go back and click on this icon and then just add in a Notion icon. And then I'm also going to open up each of them and then just add an icon. So I'm just gonna open up wealth, add this icon, go to health and then add in the next one. And then basically just add in icons for each of these four pillars of life. All right, so next I'm going to create a gallery view database and this one is going to be called vision board, if I can spell correctly. Vision board, I'm going to click on the database block menu, go to rename, and then here I'm just going to add in an icon. So I'm just going to do this I one and then just hide this database title, create a call out box called vision board, drag and drop this in, highlight this, and then I'm just going to make it bold, underline it and change the text color. Also going to give it an icon. And then with this one, I'm just going to rename this and I'm going to remove the name by just pressing a space. And then I'm also going to click on this icon add an icon for this, go to layout, change the card preview to page cover, and then also go to properties and hide the name property. So there is only images. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take this call out box and just drag and drop it next to the pillars. I'm also just going to resize this so you can change how you want this to look. I can also go to layout and then just change the card size. So I'm gonna make it small. And then the pillars, it's also going to be small. It already is. So yeah. There we got our vision board and pillars and then for the vision board all you do is let me just delete these properties and then here you just add in a cover so i'm just going to add in a cover go to change cover and then go to unsplash and just let me just type in adventure or something so i'm just going to select this cover and then on the gallery view you'll now be able to see that cover and you can just yeah you can resize this you can drag them around you can delete them 
and yeah basically just build out a vision board or a mood board for your life essentially all right so the next database is going to be for the objectives aka the goals so i'm just going to name this goals it's pretty much the same thing gonna rename it and then just add an icon so let's just do like a check mark icon and then hide the database title and then just do the exact same thing call it box add in the name drag and drop it inside make the text bold underline it and change the text color and then also give it an icon delete this tag property and then i'm also going to rename this view add a space and then just add an icon so i'm just going to use the same icon and now here we can add our goals so this would be like overarching goals so for example get to 10k per month or something so this would be like the main goal and then inside of this in order to accomplish this goal you have multiple key results and then let's also maybe do gain 10 kilogram of muscle all right so for this goals database we're going to add a relation property so that we can link it to the pillar database so here we're just going to select pillars show on pillars as well click add relation we're just going to give it an icon and then if we open up the pillars so if we open up one of these database entries you'll see that we now have our goals here so i'm just going to add in an icon and then for this goals i'm going to click on this property i'm going to go to show as and then click on as page section so now if i link this goal so get to 10k per month this is going to be linked to the wealth pillar and gain 10 kilogram of muscle is going to be linked to health so i'm just going to link it to health and then if i open up these then you'll see that we have our goals showing here at the bottom now let's just also quickly give an icon to this one so i'm just going to do like a chart icon let's just do like this one and then for this we also want icons for these so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a new template button and then this template button is going to have an icon so let's just go ahead and give an icon for this template button i'm just going to do a circle icon so let's just do this one you can add in custom icons so you can have different ones like wealth would all have like a money icon health would have a weights icon or whatever or you can just like do it like this so you go here set this template button as default and now all of your goals will have the same icon so it depends like you can add custom icons so let me actually just add like a custom icon for this then also go here and then add in a money icon and let's just keep it like that so you can like it's up to you it's your your notion but yeah you can add custom icons uh, like separate ones for each goal or you can just like use a template button and set it as default and then it will have the same icon for all of them all right now the next database we're going to add is going to be the key results database so just go ahead and create a new table for database this one will be for the key results let's just do the exact same thing as all of them so I'm just going to add an icon, let's do a target icon and then hide the database title, add a call out box, add in the name, key results, make it bold, underline it and change the text color, also give it an icon and then just drag and drop the database inside, delete this tag property, click on the view name, click on the rename, add a space and then just add an icon here and this key results database needs to be connected to goals which is already connected to pillars and we need to now add in progress bars and everything so that we can see the total progress up here on the pillars so yeah let's go ahead and add in the progress bar for the key results so what we're going to do is we're going to add two number properties the first one is going to be current the second one is going to be called target and then we're going to add another property which is going to be a formula and this one is going to be for the progress all right so here i'm going to add in my key results so let's say for example this first one we want to get to 10k subscribers maybe that's one of the the key results inside of this get to 10k per month goal get to 10k subscribers let's maybe do uh do a product launch and let's see maybe also just the amount so mrr so monthly recurring revenue and then here the target for this one would be 10,000. and then let's say okay we're at 2000 or whatever just add that in do a product launch this would be a single th thing that you do so like you do it or you don't so do a product launch zero here this one can also like this one would most likely have a bunch of tasks related and then get to 10k subscribers this would also be 10,000. and then here let's say okay we're at 3,000 subscribers and you add that in and then now for the progress bar all we have to do is just divide the current by the target like that and then what we want to do is just click on done edit the property 
change the number format to percentage and then now we will be able to see our total percentage for these goals. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to add a round function because if we change this to this for example then we don't want to see these decimals so what we're going to do is we're just going to add all of this inside of brackets and then we're going to add a round function in the beginning with the open bracket multiply everything with 100 add a closing bracket and then divide everything with 100 and as you can see here in the preview and when i click on done we have now removed the decimals and then all you want to do is just edit this number property and here at the bottom just click on progress bar or progress ring and then also just change the color and so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add an icon for these properties so let's do it like that and for the progress let's do like a chart one Let's do this one and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a relation to the key results database and this relation is going to be connected to the goals database so let's just select the goals database show on goals and then just add an icon so let's do this check mark one and on the goals let's change this icon to target one and then here we're now able to connect this to one of these goals so these would be connected to get to 10k per month so let's just add this in and then now here on the goals database you'll see that all of them are now connected and what we can now do because they're connected is we can go here and we can add a rollup property so if we go ahead and add a rollup this one is going to be called progress and here let me just move myself out of the way here you want to select the relation so this would be the relation to the key results database because we want to use this property so connected to key results the property we want to use is going to be the progress property and then we want to calculate the average so the average is 17.7 percent so if we go ahead and close out of this and then just update this one for example then you'll see that the progress will now update and i can also click on this go to edit progress and then just change this to progress bar and then change this to green and now you're able to see your total progress for each of your goals all right so now we can see our total goal progress based on the key results attached but we also want to see the total pillar progress. So if we have another wealth goal, so let's do, for example, build a strong network. And then here, let's just link this to wealth. And then we want to also have key results for this. So let's just change one of these. Let's just change this one to, to that one so that we have a progress for this one as well. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to have the total progress here. So pretty much do the same thing that we did here. But we can't use a rollup inside of a rollup. So if I just go ahead and add a rollup property, call this progress. And here you will be able to see I can connect my goals database. So I can use this goals database. But I can't use the progress property, aka the rollup property on the goals database. So what I first need to do is just add a formula. And then this one will be progress bar. And then for this formula, I'm literally just going to select the rollup. So this one and click on done. And then just change the number format to percentage, change it to a progress bar, change the color. And yeah, that's pretty much how you get around being able to use rollups inside of rollups. Because now what I can do is I can edit this property. So for this rollup, it's connected to my goals database. And then for properties, I can now select the formula. And then here, just calculate the average, same thing. Select progress bar, change the color. And now I'll be able to see my total progress for this wealth pillar. So let's just go ahead and give an icon. So I'm just going to use this chart icon. And then I'm just going to go inside of the database menu. Go to properties and then just show the total progress on this database view. So now if I change the progress here. So if I remove this, then you'll see that it will update here at the top. All right, so the pillars database is done. The vision board is done. Let me just delete this one. And then now let's just clean up the goals and key results database. So for the key results, I'm going to add in a template button and I'm going to just add in an icon. So let's just do a circle icon. I'm just going to select this one and then I'm going to set this as default so that if we create a new goal, it will automatically have that icon. And then I'm also just going to click on this checkbox to select all of them. Go inside of the menu, go to icons and then just add an icon to all of them. And now for this goals database, I'm also going to add another property which is going to be a date property. So this is going to be due date. So when you want to achieve this goal, and then I'm also going to add a formula, which is going to be for the deadline. So this is going to use a formula that I've previously created, which is going to be this one. So I'm just going to paste this in. I've already covered this in part two of my formula 2.0 series. So just go to my YouTube channel, go to the playlist, and then you'll be able to find a full three part formula 2.0 basically course. So yeah, I cover this in depth in sort of part two. 
So just check that out. And basically what this allows you to do is you can add in a date. If it's today, then it will show due today. If it's in the future, which it most likely would be, then it will show the total days remaining. If it's tomorrow, it will show due tomorrow. And if it's in the past, it will show the total days past due. All right, so now that we have all of our properties for this goals database, I'm just going to go inside of the database menu, go to layout, and then I'm going to change this to a board view. And then for this board view, you want to make sure it's grouped by the pillars. So as you can see here, underneath health, we have our health goals. Underneath wealth, we have our wealth goals. And then I'm also going to color the columns. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to properties. And then the properties I want to show is going to be the deadline formula, as well as the progress bar. So those are going to be the two properties that I want to show. Also just going to move these around to have the deadline at the bottom. And then I'm just going to exit out of this and then click on this calculate option and then choose the average progress. So the average, actually the average progress bar. So it shows the percentage. And then I'm also going to open up one of these and then click on key results, show as page section. And then here I want to show the progress bar. And then inside of this view, I'm just going to hide this roller property because we don't need two progress bars. And then I'm just going to add an icon for this one. And then for the deadline, I'm just going to add in a time icon. And then the last thing we're going to do for the goals database is just add in a calendar view. So I'm just going to add a space for the name, add in a calendar icon. So let's just add in a calendar icon. And then for the properties, I'm just going to show the progress bar. And I'm also going to show the pillars because we don't, it's not a group. So you want to see the pillars and the progress bar and then also just hide the database title. All right, so now for the key results database. For this one, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing. So we're going to go inside of the database menu, go to layout, click on board view, make sure it's grouped by the goals, color the columns, and then for properties, we want to show the progress, and then we also want to calculate the average progress. And then we're going to add another view, which is going to be a table view database. We're just gonna add a space for the name, and then add in this typing icon for the icon. And then in sort of layout, we're going to hide the database title. And then we're also going to hide the goals property because what we're going to do is we're going to go to group and then group this database view according to the goals database. So here you can see I can open and close this and it will show or hide the key results inside of this goal. And then for this group, you want to also just calculate the average progress bar. And then let's just go ahead and open this database entry, click on goals, show as page section, and then just show the progress bar. And then here I'm just also going to reorder these. And now if I want to, for example, add a key results for this goal, I just go here, click on this plus, and then here I select my goal. So this would be this one. And then here I can just quickly add in a key result. So I'm just gonna do test. And then here inside of this database view, it will then show this key result. And then here you can add in your target, your amount, and then it will show the total progress. So if I just update this, then you'll see that it will update across all of them. It will show on health as well. And yeah, that's pretty much how you create a OKR goal tracker inside of Notion. Feel free to grab this goal tracker as well as this life voice dashboard. There's a link in the description as this life voice dashboard already contains the goal tracker. So here inside of areas, you'll see that you have a bunch of different templates from finance trackers to fitness planners, but you also have the goal tracker here. So if I click on this, then you'll see that this is the goal tracker that I've just shown you how to create. And yeah, it's already inside of the life voice dashboard. So if you have this dashboard, no need to create the goal tracker yourself. And you also get access to a lot more uh, like this habit tracker and everything which i'm not gonna show now sort of just wanted to show that the goal tracker is inside of the life voice dashboard in case you're curious and want to check this out and if you want to be a part of the voting process of what video i should create next on youtube then just check out my free notion wizards community linked in the description below and while you're down there make sure to give this video a like thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one